Welcome to Weekending. On this episode, we tell you how India is getting sportier as we take you from Delhi to Gulmarg. Fifty-three-year-old Olaf moved to work at an Italian company in the Indian capital from Netherlands, where everyone loves to cycle. And luckily, he met people at a cycling group called Delhi Velo, who shared his common interest and made India feel like home. So, Olaf, tell us a bit about you. You're from Holland. How did you come to India and join a cycling group? Happy to tell you about that. Thanks for having me been great. Um, I'm from Holland, like you said. Holland is famous for cycling. There's a huge uh, cycling community. People have two, three bikes on average, so there's far more bicycles than people in the Netherlands. And um, you have to be careful in Amsterdam, you know, and not for the cars if you want to cross the road, but it's the bike, bicycles that you have to watch out for. Big thing, cycling. So coming to India, I didn't have a big expectation, right, on, on the cycling side. And it was so nice to see that there is a big cycling community here as well, and it's growing. How did you find out about the group and uh, was it tough to join it? I got to know these people, you know, one or two friends, extremely fit, good cyclists in India, that invited me to join the team one day. And, and we did that ride, we did that uh, first ride where I was able to catch up and stay with the tail. Not getting dropped is the thing, right, if you want to stay with a cycling uh, team. And uh, managed, so we had that very nice uh, first ride. Why did you choose cycling over another sport? Or is it because cycling is part of your DNA since you are from Holland? So like I said, Holland has a big background into cycling, right? So I've, I've always been a cyclist, loved uh, cycling uh, since, since very young. Um, didn't have that expectation coming to India, but particularly during the lockdown when the roads were getting empty, I noticed how lovely it is to, to cycle here. So how much more was, was everybody cycling during the pandemic and did the, you know, because pandemic at, at, at the base of it can be very stressful living through this pandemic. So did, uh, did cycling kind of help uh, give, attain some kind of mental peace? Yeah, yeah, I, I think that definitely helps, yeah. Um, and, and again, it's, it's that mix of the social factor, meeting friends while you're doing something together, you're cycling, you're exercising, and you're chatting, and, and, and you know, you can also talk about what, uh, what, what, what's happening to you in, in these uh, slightly uh, stressful times. Uh, and at the same time, you're physically active, which helps. Tell us a bit about the term MAMIL, which stands for Middle Aged Men in Lycra. The term MAMIL stands for Middle Aged Men in Lycra, all right? And the lycra and the middle-aged man is not always flattering, right? Because um, you can't escape. But then by cycling a lot, getting more fit, also the lycra suits start to fit, right? So we start to look better as we go, but that's, uh, that's mammal. And in the end, we say it half jokingly, we are mammals, right? We have to be realistic. Yes, we're cycling. Yes, we're, we're trying to be fit. But, you know, middle-aged men and lycra, that's who we are. 35-year-old Karun may not be a mammal, but is a member of Delhi Velo. He is in the middle of his pre-cycling ritual, having a cup of coffee and feeding his dog. He joined the cycling group during the pandemic as a necessity. So why I chose to do cycling instead of running or anything else? Well, again, uh, I was always a person who used to go to the gym. That, 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 was, the, that was what I used to do as work, to work out. The lockdown happened and I needed something else to do. Uh, running for some reason has never appealed to me. Um, I could never manage to be good at it. And so I thought I'd give cycling a try and it's been great so far. Akshay Jaitley is one of the founding members of Delhi Velo. He takes us through some of the popular cycling routes. You know, cycling is something that is really important in France. Uh, and it's nice to sort of have this link between one of the homes of cycling and the place in which we cycle, which is Delhi. Uh, and also, there were a couple of French guys who were part of the original uh, group, uh, and this is about 10 years ago. And uh, we, we set up to, you know, we basically set up because it's fun to do these things in a group. Um, I like to go and cycle up on the ridge. There's a little bit of a challenge in doing the very small climbs that we have over there. And then there's a great circuit that you can do on the Gurgaon Faridabad road, where you go to Tughlaqabad and Gurgaon and back. That's, that's something nice as, as well. But despite the fact that I'm a Delhi cyclist, Bangalore is the best city in the country for cycling. 
So if you are a cycling enthusiast, here is what you need to know about the gear, cycles and technology. This is my bike. It's a road bike. It's a race bike. You can tell by the, the way the bars are formed, right, the shape. You have this deep grip on the bar that you can bend over and, and be fast. It's light. It's a very light bike. Uh, it has like uh, 11 times 2, 22 gears on it that you can shift with these levers, right? Both the brake and the shift is from the same lever. It's very clean. You see that all the cabling is going inside, so it keeps the bike very nice and clean. Something particular about these road bikes is, are the shoes, because these are the shoes and they're fixed to the pedal. So that means you don't only push while you cycle, but you also pull. Like you push and pull the pedals around. And like this, the shoe is connected always to the bike and fixed. You take care of enough water when you're on the bike. So while you're, while you're riding, you have uh, one and a half, two liters of water with you. You have your little bike computer just to follow you know, your speed, your distance, your cadence. So this is a, uh, Canyon is a brand that is available on internet. So it's skipping the dealership uh, normally. So that makes it also a very good bike for India because you can just buy it online and have it imported and, um, and buy it here. Of course, there's, there's dealers, there's also many shops that, that sell, for example, uh, Track is another uh, big brand. Then you have all the big Italian brands like uh, Colnago is, is, a, is a lovely uh, Italian brand, also available here in, uh, in India, and there's, there's, there's many more. Most of the brands would have both entry-level bikes and high-end brands, and high-end bikes. So a Canyon like this would start at half a lakh probably as a, an entry level and can go as high as four lakh or more than that on the, on the Indian market. What we were is obviously Lycra, right? In the end we are middle-aged men in Lycra. So that's a, a tight uh, suit that uh, helps you um, be streamlined, aerodynamics. Winter time it's good to have long finger gloves. If you don't want to wear them, you put them in your, in your back pocket. We have short finger gloves summertime they help you um, to, to lean on your hands while, while riding because there's a little bit of a gel cushion inside um, usually we bring gear to um, change the tire another thing we take are gels that you can put again in your back pocket gels if you if you get really uh, de-energized and, and you've been on the ride for a couple of hours riding hard it's good to re-energize and, and, and get some um, fuel in, some sugar, and a quick gel like this uh, then really helps. Another important element of every ride is the helmet. Everyone wears a helmet, so in the group you would also be look strange at if, if you would not wear a helmet. Obviously, you do wear a helmet and, and it's safety first. Well, this is a Specialized, it's a, it's a very good brand. Other brands are POC, it's quite famous, and Cask. Um, you can all find them on the internet. They're, they're all nice helmets. So what we have here is a road bike by BMC uh, with electronic shifting. It's a race geometry, so which is meant for going faster um, and keeping the distance up. If you're starting off, I would suggest start with an aluminium frame um, with a mechanical group set. Don't plonk all this money onto a high-end road bike. Firstly, it's, an it's a carbon frame, which makes it very light that the geometry is also different so you end up being in a position which is slightly more aggressive you need to be a little more flexible to be in those drops for a longer period of time a beginner's bike will have a slightly more relaxed geometry which you can stay on um, even if you're not that flexible to begin with for, for cycling it's useful to get a decent quality of, of bike because if your equipment is good it makes you feel like going out well I'm not brand conscious at all the, the one thing I would say is uh, that anyone who hasn't worn one of those before is to get a proper pair of sh cycling shorts with good padding for your backside, top quality helmet and I would, don't want to see anybody cycling without a helmet, it's just wrong, that's number one. Number two, I'd say buy some, some form of GPS device which allows you to measure your distance and your speed because it gives you then data which, which can encourage you to do better. In terms of cycling apps, uh, there's an app which is equally good for running and cycling which most people use called Strava. I'd, I'd recommend that. You'll find that a lot of Delhi cyclists are on it and the advantage with Strava is that you don't actually need a separate device if you don't want to get one, you can just use it on your phone. Uh, I have an S-Works carbon bike, I have a 
titanium bike which uh, which which is my favorite actually it's it's the most comfortable uh, and i have a mountain bike as well so uh, there are two points of contact between your body and the bike one is your hands where you hold the handlebars and the other is is your you know for want of a better word your backside uh, and if you're not used to if you're not experienced of you know sitting on a narrow relatively narrow saddle then it's good to use some sort of moisture moisturizing or chafing cream which prevents blisters from fo forming in uncomfortable places most of the members of delhi velo are in their 40s and 50s and in each bike ride they cover 70 to 100 kilometers they cycle once or twice a week and end it with a cup of coffee exercise induced dopamine and serotonin with a dash of male bonding over caffeine is definitely a recipe for healthy living from cycling in delhi we now move on to skiing and snowboarding in gulmarg thanks to skiing and snowboarding tourism in kashmir is booming Yes, obviously due to the pandemic, we were closed. Uh, we were entirely shut, and then we opened our resort in September. And uh, first couple of weeks were not that good, but soon after the Diwali, we start picking up, and we are now completely sold out till April 10th. We are mostly the domestic tourism, you know, 90, 95 percent of the people who are from the country only. Vasundhara Devi Gohil organizes trips for ski enthusiasts to Kashmir, and she is rather happy with the turnout this year. happened this year with the pandemic is that international flights have obviously stopped mm -hmm. and i think it's given time and reset for all the indians and everybody around the world to think about life and what they want to do and how things are going to go forward and i think one of the things is uh, coming to gulmarg to ski because they can't go anywhere else for ski so only india outdoorsy sports sporty things can be done and uh, i think everybody wants to try new experiences have new adventures in life and i think that's really helped uh, bring in tourism to gulmarg imtiaz is a gulmarg local he is a ski and snowboard trainer and agrees that over the years more indians have taken up these sports agar hum pichle saal dekhe to pichle saal ke muqable is saal it's more than double उससे या उससे भी ज्यादा है और यहाँ पर एक बात अच्छी हुई कोड की वजह से जो यूरोप जाते थे इंडियन स्कीइंग करने के लिए तो इस साल वो सारे कश्मीर वादी की तरफ आए हैं जो स्नो क्वालिटी इट्स वेरी गुड और टेरेन जो है जो स्लोप्स हमारे पास है ये भी बहुत अच्छे लेवल के बट फोर टू सिक्स इयर्स की एज में आप स्टार्ट करो अगर आप प्रोफेशनली इसके लिए मतलब इंटरनेशनल लेवल पे जाना चाहते हो आई थिंक दैट्स गुड एज Prashant is a skier and Kabir Maira is a proficient snowboarder. They love to come here annually. Well it it all started with skateboarding as a little kid you know I I probably started skateboarding as early as I started to walk I was a thrill seeker and I mean it's beautiful out here just look at it you're outdoors it's you know clean air uh, it's a great workout you know it's it's a healthy outdoor life and snowboarding is just beautiful it's like a dance it's amazing but if you were to compare with ski resorts anywhere else in the world you're paying a fraction of what you would anywhere else so um yes it, it's it's not cheap but it's definitely cheaper here the thing that people usually get is your waterproof outers you know so um your ski pants your ski jacket you know gloves um and then the first thing that people usually go with is their own boots because rental boots can get a bit smelly Yasin Khan has been providing equipment to skiers and snowboarders and he agrees that business is booming helpful to allah taala so we had this tourism back mm -hmm. so earlier we don't believe anyone will come mm -hmm. as per situation as it was the before mm -hmm. but now it's very good days for the tourism Time for a break. When we come back, we take you through a tie and die DIY. India is definitely getting sportier, and that is also reflecting in the fashion being created by the designers. Recently, designer Shivan and Nareesh came up with a ski collection, and designer Kanika Goel has come up with a loungewear collection that can be worn to hang as well as to work out. 
Kanika is going to tell us more about it. Kanika, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. I love your collection. I have seen it on Karan Johar, his children, Malaika Arora, Arjun Kapoor. Tell us, what has made this collection so popular? Um, so, the ideation for the collection was actually done long back in 2019. Um, and uh, I think the whole idea was definitely to focus a lot on mental health. That's something that we really wanted to address. And I think with the pandemic setting in, it was just the need of the hour. Tie-dye was something that we decided to do much later on. I think with so much negativity around, we definitely wanted to bring around a lot of colour, you know, it kind of takes you back to your childhood uh, and it, you know, sort of is reminiscent of the happy days. So that's why we did this whole burst of colour. If you see the graphics, we've done stuff like protect your peace, uh, which definitely is very essential, or uh, stuff like this with a couch print that says no hurries, no worries. So it's all about slow living, you know, taking your time out from the very busy life that you know we were living and um, sort of resetting and thinking about how we actually want to enjoy our journey and uh, not really think about the destination. I see you working out often. Do you see a lot more Indians in the last four to five years have taken up to sports and exercising? Definitely. I think uh, everybody is more conscious and it's just about a healthy living. It's not about your what size you are, you know, and what size you're fitting into, what clothes you're fitting into. It's a lot about just living a healthy life. All right. Talking about living a healthy life, I love tie and dye and uh, you are going to teach all our viewers how to do tie and dye. Yes. Uh, what are the key things you need for it? So we're just going to do a DIY tie dye thing here. Um, I think we've seen so many videos on YouTube especially for this because it's just super easy to do and also like you know we have to think about the circular economy now it's a lot about sustainability I feel um, you know I can I, I so many times share clothes with my partner you know and it's more about keeping it in that loop swapping clothes around or handing it down to your you know generations so that's something you can do you can actually just like reuse your old t-shirts and do a home DIY and get a new piece out of it. Alright, let's get started. Time now for our tie and dye DIY to begin. Kanika, what are the key things we need for this except for gloves? So we need uh, t-shirts, you can use your old ones. Then we need oven grills, we need buckets that we need to fill with some water, we need rubber bands and we need the colors, the dye color. Okay, so let's get started. What yes. do we do? So, we're going to scrunch the t-shirts up into a pattern. Is there any process? So, it depends. Like, there are a bunch of uh, techniques actually, you know, uh, but I think I really like the random scrunching bit. Um, so, what we need to do is, we can just scrunch it up. So okay. we've got this, we need to hold this in place yeah. with rubber bands, okay? So you just take the rubber band, hold this, now we have this ready, we're going to dip this in water, um, so just we need to get the water everywhere. Now we just have these colours, we've used... Uh, so what, how does one pick these colours? Like can I just go to a shop and get yeah, these Yeah, I colors? think you get these like at uh, craft or hardware so stores. What we asked for? So you can get like a dye powder or you can also get these like, this brand Brit also does these dye colours separately. Okay. But also you can make it at home, like okay. use like turmeric powder for like doing a yellow colour yeah. and a bunch of other uh, organic tones that you can sort of make. It's so fun. So I like to kind of leave a bit of white space, put in colour on the other side. Now it's looking the same. I feel good at like doing a, some doodles or whatever, you can actually just use like fabric colours. Once the tie dye is done, you can do some artworks on it. This is so fun, I recommend everybody should do it. Basically what we actually need to do yeah. is wait for this 
to sort of soak in the color okay. and then wash it. So the oh, excess really? amount of color sort of comes out in the first wash. Okay. Should we just drain out the excess or not? Um, we can, but usually like it's better to let it sit for a while. We let us sit for a few seconds. I just want to ask you your collection. Uh, this one was called. It's okay to put on a few kgs. Kgs also stand for Kanika Goyal's initials. But uh, any other deeper meaning? Definitely, I think it was uh, as we spoke about earlier about mental health. I think the main meaning is it's okay to not be okay. You know. So for all of you doing this at home, make sure you let this dry and uh, then you open up the rubber bands and then put it in for a wash and then wear it. Voila, it's done. Oh, you've got nice asymmetrical colors happening. There's an orange on one side. It's very neat, I have to yeah. say. Thank you so much, Kanika. Thank you. Do try this at home. And thank you so much for watching Weekending. We'll see you again next week. Goodbye.